This is the all-new Canon R10, an entry-level mirrorless camera Canon just released last month. And this is the S22 Ultra that Samsung just released earlier this year. And today, I'll be comparing both devices to truly see which camera takes better photos and better videos. Let's find out. Yo, what is up guys? My name is Aaron and I do a lot of mobile and PC related tech reviews here on this channel. So if you guys are into that sort of thing, please support the channel by subscribing and liking the video as well. That way I can put out more content for you guys. So smartphone cameras are getting better each and every year at a rapid pace. And it kind of makes you wonder if purchasing a dedicated camera is even necessary. Of course, if you're a professional photographer or a videographer, then a smartphone might not cut it. Even if you're just starting off and you're trying to get into photography or even videography, then still a smartphone might not cut it. However, with that said, cameras can get stupid expensive, especially the lenses that you need for your camera. And sometimes those cost more than a camera itself. Cameras are bigger, bulkier, heavier, and they're a little bit more difficult to work with. Smartphones, on the other hand, is more cost friendly, they're easy to work with, and everybody has one. So today, I'll be comparing some photos and videos from the Canon R10 and the Samsung S22 Ultra to truly see how far smartphones have come along and if it can actually be a dedicated camera. Now, I wanted to make this comparison as even as possible. So for the Canon, everything was shot in full auto mode using the standard kit lens and standard video and photo mode with the S22 Ultra. Oh, and by the way guys, are you guys tired of carrying your big bulky phone and your wallet everywhere you go? As smartphones are getting bigger and heavier these days, there's only so much space that we have in our pockets, which is why you should check out Exter. Exter is changing the wallet game by offering a slim, sleek, minimal design that is comfortable for everyday use. I recently made the switch to the Parliament wallet from Exter, and by not having my wallet in my back pocket anymore, it just made a tremendous difference on comfort. The Parliament is made of high quality leather and can dispense up to 12 cards with just a click of a button. There's also many colors and styles you can choose from, such as premium leather, aluminum, carbon fiber, and the quality is just top notch. They also have a solar power tracker card that connects to your phone, so if you ever misplace your wallet, like I do, you can just ring it up or you can check where you last had it on a map. So the link in the description below will save you 25% off your order, or you guys can just use my code AaronKin. So a huge shout out to the Exer team for such a fantastic product that definitely exceeded my expectations. So the first photo was shot in full auto mode for the Canon and standard photo mode for the S22 Ultra. And one thing to note is that the S22 Ultra is a wide angle lens while the standard kit lens on the Canon, eh, not so much. So some of these photos might look a bit more zoomed in in the Canon photos. S22 Ultra on the left and Canon on the right. Both devices captured amazing amount of detail. I was actually very impressed with the performance of the S22 Ultra. One key difference is that the S22 Ultra is a bit more vibrant compared to the Canon, and this is a trend that you'll start to see as we move along. Here's another photo of the same Mormon temple here in San Diego. It's absolutely a beautiful building. Again, more vibrant colors on the S22 Ultra. The greens are greener and the blues are bluer, and I think it captured a brighter image overall. However, if we look closer on the same image, you can see that the S22 Ultra starts to lose a bit of that sharpness and overall detail, but ever so slightly. But the image as a whole, you can hardly tell a difference. Now here's another comparison, and the weather wasn't the greatest here. There was a bit of an overcast, so the lighting situation wasn't really optimal. This time, the Canon captured a brighter photo and performed pretty well in a poor lit situation. However, I think the S22 Ultra did a really good job creating that contrast between the clouds and the sky, creating a more dramatic image. And here's another photo comparison, taken at the same day at the same setting. And it's kind of the same story here. The lighting wasn't all that great with a bit of an overcast, but it's just insane how a tiny little sensor on a smartphone can capture photos that are pretty much on par with a dedicated camera. Now here's another comparison but this time a close-up shot of an In-N-Out burger. So just a heads up, it was about 95 degrees out, so it was pretty freaking hot, so we decided to sit under the shade. And this time, if you look at the Canon photo, the Canon produced a brighter image compared to the S22 Ultra. And it was kind of odd that the S22 Ultra photo looks so much darker than the Canon, so I decided to take it again. 
And again, the Canon performed really well in the shade, while the S22 Ultra, mm, not so much. If you look at the background on both images, they are equally as bright. However, what I noticed with the S22 Ultra is that in a darker setting, the shadows are much more emphasized and in a brighter setting, the overall brightness is more emphasized. To give you an example, if we go back to the first photo here, the shadows on the S22 Ultra are much darker compared to the Canon R10. And if you look at the building behind the palm trees, you can see that the S22 Ultra at the same time captured a brighter shot. Again, this is just a contrast that the S22 Ultra is able to produce. It's not really a good or bad thing. I would say it's more visibly pleasing to the eye, but it just comes down to personal preference. Now, before we get into the video comparisons, if you guys are enjoying this content so far, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button, guys. It'll really help out this channel, and I'll always appreciate your guys' support. All right, let's move on. Now, for this video comparison, I wanted to compare the autofocus on both devices, and both videos were shot in 4K at 24 frames per second. Smartphone cameras tend to have pretty good AF, and it shows here. Lightning quit autofocus on the S22 Ultra, and it's almost instantaneous. The Canon also has amazing autofocus as well. The R10 comes with the all new dual pixel autofocus that Canon just updated, and I can definitely tell the difference between my older Canon SL2 and the new Canon R10. It's really hard to choose a winner here, but either way, both results are very impressive. So for this comparison, I just wanted to test the S22 Ultra's portrait video mode. Um, unfortunately, I can't tell you guys how it's gonna look because I'm just recording this as we speak. Um, but hopefully this gives you guys an idea of what portrait video mode looks like. Um, and as for the Canon, uh, sadly the kit lenses will not be able to achieve this type of look. That's just the way it is. Most kit lenses, it doesn't have to be a Canon camera, almost all cameras with kit lenses uh, will not be able to achieve this type of look. So um, that is one downside of dedicated cameras. But um, yeah, hopefully this will give you guys an idea of what each device looks like. All right guys, that was my comparison between the S22 Ultra and the Canon R10. And honestly, I was really impressed with the results from the S22 Ultra. Um, I wouldn't say that it's better than a dedicated camera yet, but it just shows you how quick things are moving along. And there's no doubt in my mind, um, smartphone cameras will probably overtake dedicated cameras one day in the future. All right guys, thank you for watching. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel as well. That way I can put out more content for you guys and I'll always appreciate your guys' support. Anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.